and welcome back. Of course, if you're just joining us right now, you are watching KBC Channel 1. This is Good Morning Kenya. My name is Victor Olo. We are now getting into the big debate right now and the big issue here. We are going to have a conversation with uh, two governors. That is Kisumu Governor, Professor Anyang Nyongo, and of course right now starting with Embo Governor Martin Wambora, who is also the chair of the Council of Governors. We are going to have a candid discussion on matters related to governance, matters related to COVID-19 and their preparedness in combating the spread of this virus here in the country. But uh, right now I'm being joined by uh, Embu Governor, Governor Martin Wambora, who is also the chair of the Council of Governors to give us a feel what is happening in the ground. Mwishimiwa, good morning, and first of all, just say good morning to Kenyans before we get into the debate. Good morning, Victor. I'm happy to be in KBC. Thank you so much, sir, and thank you so much for uh, being with us here. Now, Governor, thank you. let's just get into it. You are the chair of the Council of Governors. Could you please just tell That's us right. the preparedness as the, as the committee and as the 47 county government on your level of preparedness right. to fight the COVID-19 in your respective counties? Okay. Uh, we are reasonably well prepared, no doubt, uh, because uh, we have uh, the PPP, PPPs and all the personnel uh, it's only that we are now, most of the counties are struggling with uh, oxygen, quite a number of the counties. But uh, we, are, we are getting there, we are getting there. Okay, so far, how much have you been allocated to help to fight the spread of the coronavirus by the national government? Uh, for the time being, other than the money we received last year, last financial year, we, this year we, we have not received money for purposes of COVID, but we have a team uh, led by the chairman of finance, Governor Muridi, which is engaging the national treasury to provide for funds. We want to divert the World Bank uh, funds, Kenya, uh, devolution support program, uh, a support program, uh, 4.6 billion, so that we can uh, divert it to COVID and we, we show the, the development projects. And I think we may succeed in that one. Governor, are you confident that your counties or the 47 counties are well prepared to fight the pandemic? The last meeting we had, uh, most of the counties were well prepared. But they are, they are still struggling in terms of oxygen and personnel, uh, for, you know, well-trained personnel. But uh, the, quite a number, including Ebu County, we have managed to acquire a very powerful uh, oxygen plant from China, and we are having enough oxygen and all that. So it is county by county. But we shall have more, 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 more clarification from the chairman of the Council of Governors in charge of health, Professor Nyangyo, on that issue. We have also been engaging the CS Health and the, the experts in the Ministry of Health so that uh, we are on the same page. But Governor, Wanjiku or the common Mwanaichi on the ground says that any time to go to the hospitals, they don't get yes. personnel, neither do they get ICU beds, neither do they get oxygen tanks. What do you tell Wanjiko? I want to tell Wanjiko uh, we are getting there and uh, we, we are now having the beds, we are having the personnel. Uh, when the COVID went down, we took most of the personnel to level four. We have now brought them back to level five in various hospitals, you know, throughout the counties, all, throughout all the counties. And uh, we can only add the personnel, but we have reasonable personnel to cope up. Very well, Governor. But then, talk of personnel, most of the counties or some of the counties suspended or, uh, for that matter, uh, fired their health personnel from different health facilities due to the strikes that we've seen in the past. How then now do you complain about lack of personnel in the counties to help deal with the pandemic? 
incidentally, most of the personnel who were treated or expelled, he applied. And as a result, most of the personnel were back over the so what we are struggling with are enough funds so that we can uh, enhance the uh, uh, PPPs and all that. Okay, so are you planning to reabsorb people who are fired or nurses or clinicians who are fired earlier or you are planning or county governments are planning to employ new people? No, the counties have, uh, re re they, have re they have observed uh, those who came back and uh, they are doing a good job. That's why you don't hear about strikes anymore. Okay, so let me just narrow down to your particular county. How many ICU beds do you have? Right. We have over 14 ICU beds with uh, connected to the oxygen directly. And we have enough oxygen in Embu Level 5 Hospital. In fact, we are able also to assist Meru, Meru Level 5 Hospital uh, earlier in the week. Okay. Do so you, we have enough do you get, oxygen in Embu. Do you get a communication and cooperation from the national government in as far as the fight of COVID-19 is concerned? We are working very, very closely with the Waziri of Health, CS Health, uh, Honorable Mutai Kagwe, and uh, experts in the ministry. And uh, all our meetings where we discuss COVID, the minister is either there or is represented by his experts. And we have even formed a committee this week, uh, which is inter inter intergovernmental uh, health coordinating committee, so that we work very, very closely indeed. And as a result, we are also working on uh, with the minister to ensure that uh, level five hospitals, especially the former provincial hospitals, are supplied with uh, the equipment, testing equipment uh, for you know in the laboratories, so that the tests can be done at uh, at the local level. So we are working very close. All right. Okay. Governor, now the government is eyeing a share of 160 billion shillings oxygen fund from uh, the World Health Organization. What is the state of Kenya in this case as far as this is concerned? Are you sure that Kenya is going to get a share of this? In terms of oxygen? Sorry, I, th I think I missed that. Uh, Okay, That's Governor. Question. Uh, the question is: the government, the government is eyeing okay. to get a share of 160 billion shillings of oxygen funds from the World Health Organization. What is the Kenya's position on this one, and how much are we going to get? No, in fact, we shall really welcome any assistance the Minister of Health can get us from the WHO. We, we shall really welcome whatever they can get. And even the equipment uh, which they can get from many others are welcome. And we are, uh, we are which, is, which is dealing with coordination matters, uh, with the uh, representation from the Council of Governors, headed by Governor Anyangno, and uh, then representatives from the Minister's Office, headed by the, the Principal Secretary uh, of the Health. So we are monitoring very closely, and we are working very closely with the ministry. Okay. And now, as a Council of Governors, as the Chair of the Council of Governors, uh, do we have a contingency measure in terms of uh, ready funds as the county government to deal with in any situation where the COVID-19 might spread outside the red zone? That's why we are tirelessly engaging the National Treasury to release the 4 Billion, which, uh, which, which was uh, uh, brought up by the, the World Bank, uh, the negotiations are going on very smooth. That is our biggest hope, there's no doubt. 
Okay, so, uh, Chair... If we get that what money, is... we shall be able to go. Yes. Okay, all right. So what is your medium yes, or short-term plan as the county government in terms of uh, just trying to yes. cushion Kenyans on these economic uh, hurdles that we are facing right now as we face the coronavirus? We just have to be uh, observe the protocols spelled out by the Minister of Health, uh, <clears throat> mainly the sanitization, uh, mask, wearing of masks, and keeping social distance. That's the most, most critical. And once you observe that, you shall see the figures going down, positive, uh, uh, positive rates going down. Okay, I'm meant to understand that uh, your county has given waivers to different people, business people in the county. How is that going to pan out in the coming days, Governor? Um, we, we, we are going to start that, uh, that waiver from tomorrow, and uh, we are going to waive all the outstanding uh, rates owed to the county by the business people, landlords, and uh, even the people of normal Biashara, commercial Biashara, so that they can now concentrate on this year. So that one is going to start immediately from tomorrow for the entire of last year. Okay, so we have got daily vaccination that has been happening uh, in the country. What is your yes. progress as we speak? Vaccination is moving yes. very steadily, especially when the government took the lead and uh, led by example. All, all the governors uh, were among the first to be vaccinated, and the, the health personnel now took the lead, uh, took the queue, and they are now responding very well. So it okay, is moving governor. at quite a higher pace. Have you been vaccinated personally? Have you? Uh, Absolutely. I was among the first. Okay. I was among the first. Mm. So there are two contentious issues here. We have got two vaccines already in the, in the country. Uh, Deputy yes. President and two prominent lawyers, Ahmed Nasir and, Gov uh, and uh, lawyer uh, uh, Korir, took their two mm -hmm. Russian vaccines yesterday. And here we have AstraZeneca vaccine for the, uh, for the country. What is your take and what should the yeah. clients go for? Um, I think uh, they, are, they are all effective, but the ones which have been uh, endorsed by WHO is AstraZeneca, uh, which was uh, brought about by Oxford University. That one has been passed, and that's the one we are, we are, we are, we are, we are dwelling with because uh, it is uh, much cheaper, even to the government, and there's a lot of donation or subsidies so we are encouraging that because that has already been as the approval of uh, WHO. But uh, the Russian uh, 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 vaccine is also very effective. There's no doubt about, uh, about it. It's very, 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 very effective. The only problem is that it is very expensive at the same time. So our hope is on uh, AstraZeneca. Governor, are you afraid that we are going to have private entities importing these vaccines for commercial purposes? They'll do that, but we have then the, the Poisons Board, uh, which is uh, on the lookout, and the Minister of Health are all on the lookout to make sure they don't, uh, the, the private sector does not bring to Kenya uh, vaccines which are harmful to the one inch. All right. So let's talk about devolution. What is your take on this? What is the progress of devolution from your own perspective? Where are we on a scale of 1 to 10? Governor? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it 7, seven to 10, 7 over 10. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it is effective. One age have come to accept it. And uh, you will discover that uh, when uh, there was a move to bring in some regional body, uh, as part of uh, devolution, uh, the, the Wanaichi are not uh, welcoming the idea because they are very satisfied with the devolution at county level. And that's the way to go. We just have to empower the counties more 
and especially now with BPI recommending that 5% of the uh, national allocation, then uh, it can only grow further. Now, as the chair of the Council of Governors, what is your yardstick in uh, making sure that devolution trickles down to the common Mwanainchi and, of course, it succeeds? It, well, my take is that uh, devolution will succeed as long as uh, we are provided funds in the counties on time, because sometimes the delay is between three and four months. Uh, we can we can live with uh, a month's delay of uh, uh, our allocation from the national treasury, but not two and three months and, uh, and above. As long as we get the money on time, we shall apply it well, we shall provide the services, and we shall also do development accordingly. All we want is getting our share on time. Yes, and on that note, getting your share on time, many county governments have not been able to service or pay their salaries mm. to their respective people and employer, employees in their respective counties. How is it going to change moving forward so that there is some seamless kind of service delivery in the counties? We are, what we are doing is uh, engaging the National Treasury uh, almost uh, on a permanent basis so that they become more and more sensitive to the counties so that the way they treat the national government uh, department they should treat the counties the same way and avoid long delays in uh, releasing the funds which are due to us as long as that is done and we have a very active uh, team now working on it uh, contacting treasury on weekly basis and it is beginning to produce results okay uh, Governor, let me just take you back to the case of uh, COVID-19. Uh, the government is crying that uh, some people are actually keeping their oxygen tanks in the county. Have you started a drive to get these oxygen tanks from personal, uh, from personal, uh, from people in uh, and back to the hospitals? What are you doing as a council chair or as a county government? Yes. What we are doing is to ensure <coughs> Uh, the people with our with our oxygen uh, uh, tanks return them, and also we have added more new ones uh, when we brought the oxygen plant. So we have even gotten a bigger bigger quantity now, and we are even going to add more in the next one month, so that we have enough of uh, oxygen uh, containers. Okay, so, so far so how many from the, our side? All right, so how many do you need? How many units do we expect in the coming month? If we can get a thousand uh, to add to what we have now, we shall be home and dry. Okay. Now, Governor, most people have been affected out of this coronavirus. Uh, needless to say that many businesses have. Uh, Many people have lost their jobs and businesses uh, alike. Yeah. So what is uh, the situation between the county governments and the national government, just to cushion the common Mwanainchi post, uh, post the pandemic? Um, in fact, uh, we are all very concerned. I know the national government, they are using their, 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 <coughs> their funds. And uh, I'll give you an example of the counties. Like in Nambu, we have uh, the youth fund. And uh, I just distributed 16 million uh, last week to the youth, and uh, it's really helping a lot. It's really helping a lot to caution them from this uh, uh, pandemic uh, uh, effects. Governor, politicians have been accused as the super spreaders of this virus. What is your take on that? I think the. <clears throat> during our last meeting, uh, during the last meeting by the president, uh, which I attended, it was made very clear that that should be a thing of the past. And uh, since that time, things have been very, very good. And we hope it continues that way until we have contained the pandemic. Okay. And Kenyans have been calling on the president to at least flex and review the, uh, the measures which were taken to, to stop the spread of the virus. And Kenya are just saying that the president should just ease it slightly. What is your take on that, Governor? 
I think what we should do is, um, first, uh, the measures taken by the president were quite in order, and uh, the Council of Governors, we participated in the exercise, and we believe they are very, very necessary because the rate of infection had gone very, very high, over 16%. But as we move forward, and that's why uh, uh, when the president talked of do not fix uh, the, the period of or during which the review can be done, he just said uh, until further notice. If they, there's a improvement uh, and the rate of infection comes down, then uh, this, some of the measures can be relaxed. And there's a question of now monitoring. We are going to make sure we keep on monitoring the, the position in all the counties so that uh, if we find it's coming down, then we, 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 we relax most of the measures. But the most critical also is to evaluate the groups of uh, business people who are more disciplined so that the disciplined ones are not punished because of the disciplined ones. If the bars are not disciplined, the restaurants are disciplined. And those stores, their conditions can be relaxed much earlier. Also, okay, Governor. Uh, uh, we have got a tweet we are here. Now, uh, we are also... oh, carry on, Governor. Carry on. I want, I want, the, I want the to add that, uh, for instance, uh, we made a case for for the artists who are coming to the country. We should not uh, punish them when they have come to add more wealth to our people, and especially places like Coast and places like Masai Mara. They are allowed to use charter planes to now reach, after they have arrived in Nairobi or Mombasa, they can go to other spots which are not under, under uh, rock so that uh, they can enjoy themselves uh, without any disturbance. So Absolutely. we shall be rewarding groups as they show, as they show discipline. Okay. Governor, uh, we have got a tweet here, and perhaps this is uh, from uh, one of your constituents from the counties called Kidneniwa Embu, who says that uh, I first take this opportunity to thank His Excellency Governor Wambora for having a heart of health facilities in Embu. Indeed, my governor has invested in health department fully in Embu. Now, the question here is, Governor, what is it that you're doing differently that is yes. uh, making your county to be... Uh, one of the best, and uh, what do you think other counties can do as well to copy from you? No, what we have done in Embo is to make sure. Uh, All right. Um, because we have you know, population, then we can have a problem. And we are, every year we put quite some money to ensure that we are getting enough equipment. And also, like now, we have an urgent plant, which is currently the biggest in the country. It's only comparable to Murago Hospital in Kampala. The repertory uh, to the new gen would be of importance, respiratory which are being brought. Okay, but all right. Been very about health think, and we are okay. ready to put our money where our interest is. All right, Governor, just stick around. We are taking a, just a very small break, but uh, stick around. We still have got some questions and comments and, of course, some um, a conversation going on on social media. We are going to engage you more on that. But right now, let's take that very short commercial break. We'll be right back after this. Stick around.